So this is what we're here for, the documents in the safe. We don't know what these documents are, other than the fact that they're important, but that isn't all too descriptive. Really curious, do you think we can take a peek at them? They might be like illegal tax returns, or a mafia hit list, tasteful nudes, uh, ICQ passwords, I don't know, it could be anything. What's up guys and welcome back to Thief Simulator and to start off today's episode I really want to get new tools because I'm getting fed up of breaking into people's homes and stealing like loose dollar bills and random garbage off their shelves like we have the ability to break down jewelry we can appraise pretty much anything we can sell pretty much anything so I need to get into those valuables. Hold the rotate direction shown by the arrows until the tone of the sound changes, then carefully press the proper direction until the combination is accepted. After that, start rotating in the opposite direction. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> After spending $2,500 on this electric stethoscope, the directions might as well be written in Japanese. I've no idea, or I had no idea, I know what I'm doing now. I've taken a few minutes and figured it out. So we just hit 56, the tone changed, and then I went too far, so it reset. But we still know that the first number is 56. We stop on 56, now we can go in the opposite direction. And we're gonna look for that tone change, and once we see it, we're gonna slow down to hopefully not overshoot the number again. It doesn't really matter, because you'll still know what it is. But we're gonna slow it down, one number at a time, 70. So we have 56, 70, and then 85. There we go. I figured it out, Vinny. No thanks to you. An important document has gone missing from Mr. Lombardi's desk. I've got a feeling it's in Greenview 102. Be a good debt slave and check it out for me. I really hope I get to steal from Mr. Lombardi, or from Vinny, or I get to run Vinny over with my car, you know, one way or another. We're not really friends. He's my fairy thief mother, but he, we're not friends. I, I don't like him all that much. Well, this is Greenview 102, and the lights seem to be off. Do you think they would mind if I parked in their driveway? Like, there's nowhere to park in this game. Nope, they, they really mind. They definitely mind. I was just turning around. Why are you calling the police? I didn't want to do an illegal U-turn. Okay, now I gotta get out of town, and I gotta come all the way back. You better believe I'm not going to prison or loading a checkpoint. We're just gonna run over a pedestrian and be done with it. I still don't understand why people hate me in this game. Like, is it the thieving? Is it the staring at their property in the middle of the night? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Do you have any important documents in a safe worth stealing? Uh, that makes my job a whole lot easier. She probably had to go to some kind of late night therapy session for that U-turn fiasco. It was really mentally scarring. And of course, all of her windows are blocked up at night. How am I supposed to get in here now? I don't suppose the gnome gang in her backyard has any bright ideas. What's that? break into their front door because neither of them are home? Thank you, gnome gods, I appreciate it. Never trust a pack of gnomes. I should have known better. I need the front door key for 102. I can't pick the lock, so I can't get in through the front door. I can't get in through any of the windows. This place is just completely impenetrable at night. Just gonna park my car like a douchebag and sleep real quick. Much better. Now we should be able to get through those windows. Is that the lady that lives here? You can't be certain because there are so many people in this neighborhood that look identical, but I wanna say that's the missus that disappeared last night. Ma'am, please don't call the police, okay? I'm just trying to prove a point with the fact that you've never met this person behind you, yet you're identical, which makes the game really difficult. <laughs> okay, I, I think she's got some distance. She went down the road. Hopefully that's far enough. There are so many people out here in the middle of the day. Why can't I do this at night? Why can't I get some inside job people like the gnomes? I'm just gonna have to sneak around and hope nobody notices. Maybe peek through these windows, see what's going on in here. I think there's two people that live here. The lady may or may not be gone. So that's what we're looking for. Oh, now might be perfect time for our glass knife, so how does this work exactly? 
Well, I tried to ask the gnomes, and they didn't know. And I tried to call Vinny, but he, of course, didn't answer. And I tried to ask the people who sold me this thing for $2,500, but they didn't care. But the internet tells me that if I spin this thing around for long enough, we should wear a face-sized hole in the window that I can then use to open it. Okay, you know what, that's actually pretty sweet. Still a little expensive, but I don't need to smash windows anymore. And in all reality, we've already made back 50 bucks. So, you know, $50 down, 2450 to go. Just gonna close this real quick. Don't mind me. So this is what we're here for, the documents in the safe. We don't know what these documents are, other than the fact that they're important, but that isn't all too descriptive. Really curious, do you think we can take a peek at them? It might be like illegal tax returns, or a mafia hit list, tasteful nudes, uh, ICQ passwords, I don't know, it could be anything. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's gonna be hours soon enough, as soon as I open the safe. There we go. Okay, and a hundred bucks to boot. Don't mind if I do. Is Bay's valuable? Hope so, because it's mine now. We have a minor problem. Turns out the people who live here have guns. That's a first. No, no, no. Nothing but clothes in here, officer. You could just go about your day. There you go. <laughs> Works every time. I don't know why he didn't hear me close the door next to him, but he heard me open the safe. Either way, I'm kind of hoping he loses interest sooner rather than later. His feet seem really interesting. Oh, okay. Police might be going away. Do you think they would shoot me? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. They buggered off. That was a good sign. I kind of wanted to poke around and steal more stuff. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? I can honestly say I did not expect a citizen's arrest from people who just assume the door opening and slamming behind them is poltergeists, wind through the weird round hole in your window. I, I have no idea. Either way, I'm not gonna press my luck considering I just made off with a whole backpack full of stuff as well as the documents. I got some jewelry that I found in their drawers, uh, an iPad that's locked and stuff like that. Overall, I think this is S rank, right? We weren't spotted, technically, right? Because I had to reload from the beginning. This had better be the perfect crime or so help me God game. Come on, you gotta give credit where credit is due, yes! That's like almost two full levels worth of experience. That might be my best heist yet. Which is amazing considering I got shot. So mission accomplished. I got the documents, but I haven't heard anything from Vinny. Like what I should do next or how I should get the documents to him or I have no idea what's going on. But we have some headphones, 86 bucks each. That's not too bad. A random vase, $12. Another random vase, $10. That... Holy crap, that vase they had in their safe is worth 1,500 bucks. It looks the same as all the other random crap vases, vases, whatever. Emerald bracelet, another $1,500. By far my best heist yet. <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, so now I need to mark the camera in 101. I have no idea what that means. I'm assuming that once I get there, Vinny's gonna give me a call because he's always watching. Oh yeah, we're moving on to the rich part of town now and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> they have a gated house and automatic floodlights and security cameras, right? I'm supposed to mark this camera like uh, that? Oh, look who it is. Well then, you got anything interesting to say there, Vinny? You know to wipe a mobile, right? See that you do. You know how to wipe a mobile? I barely know how to wipe my ass. What are you talking about? Steal a tablet from 101, get a glass knife. Well, I have a glass knife, but I don't have a clue as to what the hell you're talking about. I'm assuming that if I step in the red, that's a big no-no, so we're gonna avoid going through that gate, but I don't know how I feel about this. This seems way outside my pay grade. 
They're doing a lot of roaming around outside, and I don't know how I feel about that, especially because they have a lot of floodlights. <laughs> Usually at night, I enjoy the cover of darkness. Here we go. Maybe we can bring the cover back. Is this something that I can interact with? Should I have done that with him on the other side of this fence? Yes, we're fine. Right. I'm here to, to work on the electrical. Fixed in uh, about four minutes. Uh, don't don't mind me, sir. Just screwing with your power. It's, oh, that's good. It's perfect, right? Because now that means that the camera should be off. Hopefully that thing doesn't run on batteries. And then we can get through the gate. That's the only way through this entire fence. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to go through this. Okay, this is perfect. Not really appreciating the fact that I'm on a timer. <laughs> I need to be in and out in under 200 seconds. And I can't get seen. That was close. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, don't, don't, don't mind me, sir. Oh, what do you mean discover by the tenant? He just disappeared. Okay, then. I guess if we're in for a dollar, we're in for a dime. I need to get in here. I'm sure they have a bed. Glass knife. Glass knife. Aw, <gasps> oh, crap. Officer, I was just cleaning the windows in darkness. I refuse to believe that that was my fault. Okay, that was just unlucky. He decided to leave the moment I decided to show up, but this time we're gonna wait for him. I'm gonna stand on the sidewalk like the creep that I am and stare at his house until he disappears. Then we'll steal all his crap. Hello, ma'am. I'm saying this in my head, you can't hear me. I wanna say he's confused as to how he's supposed to leave his home and not having some kind of late night quickie with his fence. Which really just does not help me out because, like, what am I supposed to do here? Maybe he'll be cool about it, right? I won't judge him for his fence humping, and he won't judge me for sneaking on past. Okay. There's no way this is going to work, right? He's not supposed to be here. It says that he's out. He and his wife are out. His wife probably thinks he's out. That's what he told her before he went and had his little affair with the fence. What is this? Am I supposed to? Oh, I need to break or steal this. Right, this is a rent-a-thug thing. There's no way I'm stealing it, so. <laughs> Request done. And he seems fine with it. I'm a lot less concerned about him and a lot more concerned about the fact that I have no idea where his wife is and I have a little under two minutes to finish everything. I need to break wine glasses, break a window on the second floor, steal tablet with important data. Okay, this is the most important part and we need to go quick. So I need to release the moment I see anything weird. Crap, crap. Okay, 37. First one, we got 37. 19. 18. There we go, and then, good. Got it, nailed it. And there should be nobody home still, so. Ah, crap, I tried my best. <laughs> I need to get the hell out of here, okay, I can't wait. I can't, no, 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 run, 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 run. I can't wait. There's gotta be a nice little dumpster somewhere with my name on it, right? They, they come down over the hill, they're just, they're ridiculous. Get in, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> No! They don't stick to the roads. They drive over the hills and all. Ah, oh, it's just so stupid. How the hell does the security system still work without power? That doesn't make any sense. And it doesn't help that the game isn't super well optimized. It's like every time I'm fleeing from the police, I have to run past all of these buildings and people and trees and bushes, and it all loads in at the same time. Just makes it impossible for me to get nice smooth video. <laughs> Just drives me crazy. So I'm gonna have to avoid breaking any windows, okay? We, we can try to do everything else in the 200 seconds that I'm given. Probably more like a minute because I think they're gonna come home soon, so I might need to be fast. I, I probably shouldn't get distracted. <laughs> Just focus on the essentials and get the job done, he says while spotting another safe in the corner. Okay, well, you know what? That doesn't take too long, and this probably has a, a lot of money in it. All right, all right. So we're gonna be better than that. Okay, 31. Followed by. You got for me safe. Come on. 
Easy, easy. 43. There we go. And... 27. Got it. What do you got for me? Ooh, baby. That's a lot of money. Yup, that's like $3,000. Don't mind if I do. 80 seconds left. We're gonna get the important tablet, and then we're gonna get the electric guitar that's right next to this safe, and then we're gonna get out of here, okay? Because I do not want to find out what happens when the power comes back on. 35, 47. I'm taking this a little bit slower because if I screw up, it's just gonna take me a lot longer to fix it. There we go, got it, got it. And you know what? I'll take all your phones too. I don't mind phones. Here we go, that. 55 seconds, lots of time to spare. What else did I need to do? Break wine glasses? What? Oh. What do we have here? I can steal cars in this game? Are you kidding me? I, I can't, no, I can't focus on this right now. Can't focus on this right now. Just get the hell out. 30 seconds to spare. I'll be back for that car later, just you wait. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Thief Simulator, guys. And it's like I said at the end of the last video, this is exactly what I wanna be doing. You know, I wanna be experiencing new things, like citizens with guns, or breaking into new homes, like ones with crazy beefed up security systems and electrical bypasses, and learning new skills. And I think coming up, we have hacking electronics and stealing cars, and there's just a lot more to the game. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and I'll return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.